That's what it is. Anything else you want to say to the fans? Uh, I just want everybody to tune in Saturday night. We put on a great show and a great performance, regardless of who I fight. And, um, you know, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation, man. They're my people, man. They're good people. Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? First things first, I have to say, I just love the direction that the sport of boxing is heading right now. The progression is unbelievable with the PBC series right now. We are getting to see some of the best fights on free TV. I love the fact that Teddy Atlas, one of the best analysts in the game right now he gets to cover big name fighters now not just you know young up and coming fighters so hopefully the progression continues because eventually we will be watching boxing the exact same way we watched NBA I mean it's getting there but I say in a couple more years it will be completely like the NBA see because the NBA is just one league when it comes to boxing you have like multiple leagues that's why we don't always get to see the best fighters fight against each other and we certainly don't normally get to see it on free TV we normally have to watch it on HBO and Showtime where we have to pay a twenty dollar subscription for each channel and if you're like me you probably don't even watch the movies on Showtime or HBO you probably just watch the boxing so you're paying twenty dollars just to watch a couple fights a month right so we're getting away from that with more of these PBC cards premier boxing champions bringing the sport back to the masses free of the burden of a Saturday night pay-per-view so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into this great fight that we just watched right now Keith Thurman versus Luis Colazzo very good fight very competitive fight a lot of people thought that Colazzo was completely washed up and so on and so forth. Now, I picked, of course, I picked Thurman to win this fight. But uh, if you guys watched my radio show the other day, I said, I wonder if this fight is going to look like the Bundu fight, Thurman versus Bundu. Or will it look like Thurman versus Karras? I guess I would have to lean more towards the Bundu fight, obviously, right? For the first time, we've seen Keith Thurman get hurt. But he, he, he dealt with it like a champion. I'm telling you right now, 98% of the toughest fighters in the sport of boxing, they would have went to the ground from that body shot. If you guys remember, even the tough Maidana when he was fighting against Amir Khan, he got caught with a killer body shot and he dropped immediately. Right? Keith Thurman, he stood up. Now, let me go back to uh, the first uh, round. And this is pretty interesting because... As I'm watching the fight, now I'm behind a couple rounds. I'm watching it on my DVR because I had to, you know, I was running around making some runs and whatnot. And as I'm watching the fight, uh, my, my uncle, he's watching the live feed. So he calls me after the sixth round or while he's in the sixth round, he calls me up. Now, keep in mind, I'm just watching the first round. And it's funny because as I'm watching the first round, Colazzo is moving in the first round. But the way he's moving, I'm just saying to myself, I can't see Thurman actually beating Floyd Mayweather, which that's not an insult because Floyd Mayweather, once again, you know, he's the best fighter of our generation. He's one of the greatest of all time, right? So as I'm watching the fight unfold, I get a call from my uncle. He's a big boxing fan, my uncle Tommy. And he calls me up. And he says, you watching the fight? I said, yeah, but don't tell me what's going on because I'm in the first round. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm already in the sixth round. But this is all I'm going to tell you right now, Dante. Keith Thurman ain't messing with Floyd Mayweather. And that's, that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you right now. He said, I ain't going to tell you too much, but it's a fight. So this is what he's telling me. And I, I tell him exactly what I just told you guys, which is, you know, it's funny you telling me that because that's exactly what I was saying to myself just watching the first round. And we all know. The first round was totally different than the rounds later on. Now, one thing I did notice is with Colazzo, it's it was surprising to me that he was showing Thurman so much respect in the first couple of rounds because he was moving away from his opponent. That's something that I'm not used to Colazzo doing. 
usually Colazzo stands right in front of you and he uses a lot of body movement, you know, and head movement. But when it came to Keith Thurman, you could tell he really respected Keith Thurman's power. What Colazzo showed in this fight is that if you have a little bit of intelligence and you go on the inside and you smother Keith Thurman's punches, you have a better chance against Keith Thurman. So Colazzo basically realized plan A of moving around the ring wasn't working, so he went to plan B. And plan B was a lot more effective for Colazzo because what he basically did was he took the space away from Keith Thurman. That way, Keith Thurman can't get the full extension on those big bombs that he throws, right? So he stayed close, Colazzo did, to Keith Thurman. And on top of that, he did walk through some bombs. Now, Keith Thurman is a great boxer, and he's very, very accurate with his, you know, selective punches that he throws. So, for Colazzo to walk through those punches and then get his punches off was very impressive. It does, you know, for, there's a lot of fighters like this. They have a big punch, but they're not as comfortable on the inside. That's what it looked like with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman would prefer you give him that space. Now, the irony of this all is we just seen Keith Thurman in the ring with somewhat of a slick southpaw that gave him just a little bit of problems. Not, not a whole lot, but gave Keith Thurman a little bit of problems, and he was acting as the aggressor, okay? So you have, like once again, a little bit of slickness, and he's aggressive in the ring. Now, imagine... Errol Spence in there with Keith Thurman. I'm just going to leave it like that. Imagine Errol Spence against Keith Thurman after watching that Southpaw Colazzo against Keith Thurman. Food for thought. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that terrific body shot that Colazzo landed at the end of the fifth round, I believe. You know, this is what makes Keith Thurman a special fighter. Okay, even though I don't believe he can beat Floyd Mayweather, Keith Thurman is still top two, the best welterweight in the division right now. I believe, I still believe that Keith Thurman and Errol Spence, you know, outside of Floyd Mayweather, of course, I believe those are two of the best fighters in the division right now, right? But with me saying that, like I said, the body shot he got caught with, not too many people would have would have stood up to that. They would have hit the ground. They would have took a knee. Okay? He shows a lot of heart, Keith Thurman does. But once again, I truly believe you put somewhat of a slick fighter in there who can go on the inside and smother Keith Thurman's punches, that's going to be the best game plan. Or maybe I should say one of the best game plans. Now, I truly believe after watching this performance from Keith Thurman, I wouldn't be surprised if Amir Khan now has enough confidence to get in the ring with Keith Thurman. Because, I mean, of course, if, you know, we're, if, Keith, if uh, Amir Khan is looking at the triangle theory, then we already know he did much better against Colazzo than Keith Thurman did. Now, of course, don't go off of that triangle theory. I'm just saying maybe, maybe Khan is going off of that, right? But if, once again, if he's going off of that, he's going to say, yeah, I did better. I think I have a chance with this guy. This guy doesn't like boxers. He doesn't like, you know, this and that. So, and, and not only that, but I remember when I interviewed Keith Thurman a long time ago, he actually said that, you know, Amir Khan, that would be a very difficult fight because of his style. But anyway, I'll close out with talking about how the fight ended. So, right when it was getting really dramatic... Colazzo goes to his corner and he basically quits because he did have a cut. And I truly believe from looking at the respect that Colazzo showed in the first round, when Colazzo was cut, I, I think I truly believe Colazzo said to himself, There's no way I'm fighting this big ass puncher with a disadvantage. You know, I would probably do it against, you know, a Pauli Malinaji or someone like that, but I'm not doing it against Keith Thurman. And that's pretty much what it is, you know. 
You could call him whatever you want to call him, but I, I truly believe that's the reason why he quit. But I, I believe some people will look at this as Colazzo slightly exposed Keith Thurman, but nevertheless, I still believe that Keith Thurman is part of the future of this sport in the welterweight division. You know, I will still pick him over almost anybody but Mayweather and Errol Spence. That's all I got for now. I'm on to the next one.